I'm Matthew Harker. I'm a private chef from Boston, Massachusetts, and today I'm here to show you how to make raspberry sauce at home. It's fresh, it's all natural, and it's great during the summer. I make it for my clients' kids. They love it on vanilla ice cream, cakes, and even as a dip for fresh fruit. So to start, we have our ingredients here. We have two cups of fresh raspberries. We have the uh, juice and the zest of one lemon. We have a tablespoon of granulated sugar, but you can also use sugar in the raw. And we have half a cup of water. Now it's very simple. The first step is to put all of these ingredients together in a pot on the stove and bring it to a boil. So here we have our small saucepan. I'm going to add the ingredients. We're going to heat them over medium heat. I like to add the water and the sugar first and just give it a stir. Helps to dissolve it all. And then the lemon juice and zest. And lastly, our raspberries. We'll bring it to a boil and then reduce the heat to let it simmer for about 20 to 25 minutes until the raspberries have uh, really released their flavor and color. So the raspberries have been cooking for 25 to 30 minutes and they're just about done now. You can tell because the juice from the raspberries just coats the back of the spatula. So now we're going to remove it from the heat and take it over to be strained. So we're going to take a fine wire strainer and pour the raspberries through it. And then using the spatula, I slowly want to stir it around to push all of the juice through the strainer. You want to make sure you're working around really well because there's lots of juice stuck in between all the seeds. Scrape the bottom off. And then we have our strained, fresh, homemade raspberry sauce.